Hello everyone, it is Dean Hansen again, but I'm just going to talk about auxiliary sends for a minute, and we're going to jump into reason and see how we can use aux sends, some theories we've learned from live sound, and use them in reason, propel ahead reason, to save memory on our computer so it will run way faster. And um, so we'll use principles learned in one area and add them to another area because reason will allow you to do things that a lot of software packages won't allow you to do. Let's pretend we have a mixing board with connections, we have faders and knobs and all the good stuff. And let's pretend that we have a microphone plugged in right here microphone and we're singing into it and we want to put a reverb on that microphone okay most people would assume let's say we have a reverb unit with an in and an out most people would run from the microphone to the reverb in then out the reverb out and into here. And that will work. No problem. That's kind of the way we would do it with live sound is we kind of, or with recording is we tend to put plugins on things. If we're not going if we're not recording like live we'll do one at a time, we'll put a plug-in on something and we just put it right on there. We can set the reverb however we want. But what I'm gonna teach you is how to use that one reverb on several different tracks therefore saving yourself a lot of space. So what we're going to do, we still have this microphone running into track one, but we have things called aux sends. Okay, let's just say we have a couple, and then we have aux returns. Sometimes they're called effect sends, sometimes they're just called sends, sometimes they're whatever you want. Then we have the sends and the returns. So instead, we're going to go out aux send one and go into the input on the reverb. And then out the output of the reverb is going to go into the return. So this is the send, this is the return, and we're going to come back in. So out the out, in the end, no problem. As of now, this reverb isn't really sent to anything. Okay? Now here we got these little knobs on each track. And if they're called effects knobs or auxiliary knobs, they correspond with these sends. So say this is one, two, and three. Now what I'm going to do now is if I turn up the volume on one, so I'm turning this volume on this knob up. All I'm really doing is sending this signal out this send. That's all I'm doing. Is I'm sending this signal as much as I turn up out this send. Well, if I'm sending something out this send, it's going into the reverb, coming out the reverb as a wet signal, into the return, and now we're bringing in reverb by turning this knob up. Um, Live sound engineers will also do that for mixing monitors to send different levels of different tracks out to different monitors. So, if I turn that up, now we're bringing reverb in here, off this reverb. Well, what if we have the guitar coming in this track? That's a guitar. <laughs> okay. And then we have, you know, drums on this track. Those are drums with microphones. And those are on this track, just pretend. Then we can take this same reverb and turn the volume up for guitar. Let's say we want it to have a lot of reverb, we'll turn it way up. We want the drums to have a little reverb, so we'll turn it kind of down. We want the vocals to have a medium reverb. We can adjust different reverbs from the same unit, all being adjusted in one area. And you can use aux sends for a lot of different things, because all you're really doing is just as you turn up that knob, you're turning up, you're sending that much signal out. 
So depending on where you send it and what you do with it is up to you, but this is just a way to use it for effects. And reason will allow you to do this. Which obviously, if you're thinking, quickly makes you think, oh, I could only have one reverb open and use that reverb for many different things. And uh, so that's the idea behind it. Hopefully it makes sense. Hopefully I didn't leave anything out. And then you know if you were sending this one to a dynamic processor or a compressor, you know, into its in, and this one's out, and then sending it back in to the return here, as you turn up the volumes on this second knob, you'd be giving each one of these a different level of compression. Now, yeah, your attack and your release and your ratio and your threshold are all going to have to be the same, which might be weird, but you could at least give everything a little bit of compression. You know, just do three to one with a, with a ratio, depending on where your signals are, I mean, a threshold wherever your signals are, and, you know, a three to one ratio and a, a generic attack and release, then you can put at least a little bit of compression on everything by turning up the knobs, giving it how much. And it's not really how much compression are you giving it, it's how much of that signal are you sending to the compressor is what you're really doing. So let's go into Reason and do it. Okay, so here we are in Reason. i got to do this really fast. I've wrote, written a really terrible piano and drum riff. About as basic as it gets. Okay, so now that we have a drum set and a piano riff, I'm going to show you how we can link using aux sends out of the mixing board these auxiliaries you see right here. If you ever seen those on Reason, you probably have never used them. And that's what they're for. It's the exact same thing I was showing you up here. They're the auxiliary sends. You're sending that signal out. So let's hook this reverb into the mixing board really fast. And I'll show you how. Go up to the mixing board. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Okay. So here's the mixing board. Look, auxiliary sends, one, two, three, and four. Send out. Let's go out left, or one, down to the left input of the reverb unit. Boom, we're in. And we'll go out the outputs of the reverb unit, back in to the return of the, of the mixing board. And now we have it linked up to where, however much you turn this knob up, we're in one, so it's just this knob. The more you turn it up, the more it's going to send whatever signals into that out that output, out the aux send, which is going to the reverb unit, which is coming back in the return, which basically just brings reverb into that track. And you can break up on the back of the redrum unit, you can break up each one of these each one of these tracks, kick, snare, hat, everything, into, send it to its own track on the mixing board and give it its own amount of reverb, all running off of one reverb unit. That is cool. So let's do it really fast. So let's just hit play, and I'll start, and I'll start bringing in reverb on the piano. So let's just listen. Piano, let's bring in some reverb. Cool, huh? Okay, so of course we can also bring in some of the drum set to that same reverb. So let's listen. Let's mute it first. And just turn up the volume. However much you want to give it. that's that.